Okay, this uh, video is really upsetting. This is put out by the Muslim Skeptic. And the title is, Why Do Podcasts Have the Right to Beat Women? And so this is really about the justification of Quran 434, which says uh, you have problems in your marriage. You can do certain things, you know, not sleep with your wife. And at the end, you're supposed to beat her and uh, or strike her as in some translation. And so now this guy, the Muslim skeptic, he's going to try to say that beating is part of corporations their strategy to get rid of employees that are being terminated. That somehow you beat your employees when you take them by force and remove them from their building. That somehow that's not assault. That uh, that falls under the same category as beat the women, which is nonsense. It's illogical. It doesn't make any sense. When you beat somebody, it's for punishment. You're not the punishment for an employee is termination and removed from the building. You do not assault the person. That's what he's going to be trying to say in this video. Now listen to him. Look, let me put it like this. Is it possible to run a corporation without the possibility of physical discipline? No. You have to give managers in these corporations the right to beat their employees. How do you beat your employees? Well, if the employee violates the norms of the workplace, they get fired. And if they do not voluntarily comply, security will be called, called to remove them by force. Managers have to have the right to beat their employees. If they didn't have the right, you couldn't have a hierarchical organization. That's really a lie. The California Penal Code defines assault as the unlawful attempt among the present ability to cause violent injury to another person. Simple assault is a misdemeanor punishable by up to six months in jail and fines up to a thousand dollars. Watch as he parallels Islam to corporate punishment. Islam recognizes this about family. Patriarchy is hardwired. You beat your wife in Quran 434 as a punishment. You take your employee out of the building by force as a punishment, but you don't assault him. You're assaulting your wife as marriage therapy. That is Islam. That's what's been taught for 1400 years. And this is what the Bible says. Right, Ephesians 5, 25. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. It's earlier in verse 3, it says, but among you there must be not even a hint of sexual immorality or any kind of impurity or greed because these are improper for God's holy people. I pray that this guy, this Muslim skeptic, will learn not to beat his wife, that he'll come to Christ and reject all the false teachings of Islam. In Jesus' name, amen.